Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can extract files from a compressed zip folder that is uploaded to SharePoint automatically using Power Automate. So this is my SharePoint document library. And what I want here when a user is going to upload a zip file to this particular document library, the user should have an option to run a flow to extract the file from this zip folder. So if I call this extract file action, what it is doing behind the scene, I have a Power Automate flow that I can trigger and run. And this flow is going to look at the zip file, look at all the file inside it and extract it out. So as you can see here, all of the file has been extracted. So this is what I'm gonna teach you and you can learn how you can create this capability in SharePoint using Power Automate. So this is my SharePoint and I have a document library. So what I want here, whenever a user is going to upload any zip folder or zip file in this particular document library, I want all the files that is inside the zip file automatically extracted and uploaded to the same library. Okay, so how we can do that? We are going to use Power Automate Flow that will automatically trigger it or we can allow user to trigger the Power Automate Flow from this library and that flow will extract the file get all the files out of the zip folder and upload it here. So I'm going to log into make.powerautomate.com and we're going to click create. Okay, so we're going to start from the blank. I'm selecting manually triggered flow and we will change the trigger after we create this flow. And I'm going to switch to the classic designer. Again, it's personal choice. You want to use the modern designer. I'm using the classic designer for this particular flow. And here what we're going to do, we're going to delete this trigger that is coming default and what I'm going to use here is for a selected file okay so in the SharePoint we're gonna select the for a selected file now why I'm using this particular trigger because what I want here I don't want just the flow to trigger on each and every file that is being uploaded here because not every file is going to be the zip file so what I want when the user is going to upload a zip file they can trigger or they can call the flow Okay, so I selected my site address and also the library name. The next step we're going to do, we're going to search for SharePoint. Okay, and now you have an action here that's called extract folders. Okay, now this action is allowing us to extract a compressed or archive file like zip. So we're going to select that. Now this is going to ask some of the information like for example, the site address. Of course, this is going to be the site address of the SharePoint site that we are using for this demo. The source file path. Now the source file path, so we need the path, right? This for a selected file is going to, going to give us the ID and item URL. This is not enough for us to use this information in this particular action. So what we need to do before we even use the extract folder, we need to get all the information for the file for which we are running this flow. So we're going to click add action, SharePoint, okay, and get file properties. Again, we need to select the site address, library name, and here we have ID and ID we are getting from our trigger, okay. Now when we go to the extract folder and go to the source file path, this action get file property is going to give us the actual path that we need, okay. So we are going to use full path here. And then we have the destination folder. This is the folder for our document library because we want to extract all the documents into the same library. So here we're going to use the folder path. Okay. And I'm going to make this override flag to yes. Click save. I also rename this. Okay. So now my flow is ready. Now let's test it. So I'll go back to my SharePoint. I'm going to upload one zip file here. Okay, so the file is uploaded. Now if I go to automate, I should see my flow and you can see her extract file. We'll click on it. First time it's gonna ask me for connection. So I need to confirm that and then run flow. Okay, so I requested my flow to start extracting the file. Let's go and check the flow.
So as you can see, the flow triggered successfully and it actually can get the, all the file, file properties and also completed the action to extract. Now, if I go back to my SharePoint library and refresh it, I should see all the file extracted out. And if you notice, it extracted all the files and also a folder that was inside that archive. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but very useful action that you can use for automatically extracting files from Azure folder. Thank you very much and thank you for watching this short video. Thank you.